Hey, we have the same shirt on. They're twins. Twins. Yeah, he's my brother. Welcome to Curiosity Public. My name is Dutch. My name is Jules. Dylan. <laughs> Keep going with the same one stick. It's days. not going to be funny. One of these days. Uh, welcome. You know why I do it? Because these things get released like years, years. That's true. Uh, who knows? What the, we have no continuity, basically. But anyway, welcome everybody to Curiosity Public. In this episode, it's another <laughs> installment of our ultimate spirits competition, our quest to review every sipping spirit on the face of the planet, subjected to our crazy hard 100 point scoring system. And in this episode, we're going to Bardstown for the Bardstown Discovery Batch Six. Six. By the time this comes out, Batch Seven's <laughs> probably going to be old news. Eight. <laughs> uh, but that's just how we roll. We're, we try to get ahead of the curve and we immediately fall behind. Mm, never do. But we do have Batch Six here. It is open. It's been sitting for a little bit. Um, we've got Batch One, Two, Four, and Five. We, we've been wanting to do a drink through. What's going on over there? <laughs> Um, no this is not our first review today. <laughs> Just letting you guys know this is going to be a fun one. Basically. Anyway, Bardstown is um, it's a blend. And uh, they source stuff from all over the place. Tennessee. I believe that they're starting to use some of their own distillate. Mm. Um, this particular one, I don't know. I don't think this includes any of their own distillate. I think the next batch might. Uh, but this is... Uh, the, the great thing about this... Let me show the bottle here, the front. They've changed the motif over the over the releases. It used to have kind of a green motif. Now it's this maroon. Um, this one comes in at 111.1 proof, 55.55% alcohol. And on the side, you get to see the actual breakdown of the distillate. So you see that it's 68% 11-year Kentucky distillate with a 75% corn 13 rye, 12 malted barley. 16% is Tennessee Dickel, which is 17 years. And then 16% Indiana, guessing MGP, uh, which is a seven year. So an interesting blend. There's a booklet that I dropped that has some uh, pictures of glasses and uh, and I don't know what else, like other stuff in here. <laughs> food. A building. There's like some food. So if you want to eat that food, you can drink this bourbon and then you'll magically have that food. Um, and that's, that's it. Who cares about that? We're going to drink this. I'm going to open it. Dylan, you got anything else? Yeah, so this is the um, uh, a special series from Bardstown, uh, basically celebrating the blending of uh, kind of the old and rare bourbons. Mm. Um, they're trying to maintain uh, this kind of uh, history of <laughs> trying to find complex and um, sophisticated blends. Uh, a lot of these win awards, right? And that's why yep. it gets a lot of uh, press. Could it's you interesting. Sound it's, more bored. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> well, for for our members of Curiosity Private, just so you guys know, we will be comparing this in a taste off to the batch four, which was one of the better regarded ones. Um, that's for members of Curiosity Private, either here on YouTube or over on Patreon. Five doesn't matter. Well, four and th three and four. Just from the whiskey tubes, people said, "Oh, these are amazing," and that's kind of what really got Bardstown into right. the into the spotlight. Mm -hmm. um, the whether or not they've been able to keep it up, who knows? I mean, I'll, that's kind of one of those things with the blenders is they're kind of dependent on what they're able to source, right? right? Exactly. So it'll be more interesting, I think, when the Bardstown starts putting their own distillate in here, and we start seeing, okay, what are they going to come up with? Um, right. But they do also have the Fusion series, which is their kind of cheaper. Mm -hmm. uh, more affordable one. This one, these clock in around 120 to 160 dollars, depending on where you're able to find them. But uh, anything else, Dylan? Or are we good to go? Yeah, I mean the Fusion series is the one that like they use their own, I think. Okay. Um, and then I, I imagine eventually that's going to be integrated the into more thing. of the yeah. Discovery series because this is expensive. Yeah, this it's is expensive. not cheap. Yeah, and they also have their. Um, They've got a couple of different wine mm. ones. So they've had one with like Prisoner Wine Company. So oh. uh, whiskeys that have been aged in those barrels. And we had like the Pfeiffer Pavit. Um, and they've had a couple of other wine cask ones that they've done. And they'll take those and blend them and then release them as special releases. So 
Interesting stuff. Um, ultimately, what matters is how this glass tastes, and we're going to start tasting it right now. If you're having a tough time, I think that's the right reaction. What? Oh, I'm having a tough time? Yeah. Yeah, it, this is quite perplexing, actually. All right, guys, we've had some time to taste. We've all scored it. We haven't discussed our scores or revealed our scores to each other. We're going to do that in just a second, right after Jules tells all of you guys about our scoring system. In less than five seconds. We do have a 100-point grading system across 10 categories. that include <laughs> aroma, flavor, body, complexity, balance, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. Most of them we rate by 10 points. However, flavor, we weighted at 20 points, and aesthetics and value at 5 points each. You can medal in our competition if you score 60 and up. Go from bronze, silver, gold, to diamond. All right, guys, initial score time. Of course, this could change as we discuss it, and sure. I would really like to discuss this one. I... I agree. I had a hard time putting numbers down. Uh, I gave this a 74. Whoa. 72. Gave it a 67. Wow. Okay, so we're not that far off. Yeah. Um, no, interesting We're not spread. exactly clustered. We're not, we're, yeah, we're clustered a little bit, but um, <laughs> uh, let's kick this off with a discussion of the aroma. This was actually one of the best categories for me. I agree. I got a really clear cherry... A berry and a gingerbread. I give it a nine. I thought it was excellent. I, I mean, I didn't get a nine, but I gave it an eight. <laughs> um, I, I thought it, it, it is the strongest carrot category. It's the strongest category. Mm, yes. You get, you get. It's really pleasant. Great yeah. peach. It starts off cherries, berries. Fantastic. Ginger. I'm not getting the ginger. Oh, I'm getting man. definitely all the berries. What you're missing, what you're missing is uh, kind of the you're missing. kind of the stereotypical. Um, you're missing the sugar, like molasses, yeah, sugar. Yeah. Uh, honey. Uh, but I wouldn't really feel like I don't feel like I'm missing them. There's so much great fruit in here that and it's so bold. It's, it's easy. all fruit, yeah. But I, I I think it's great. I mean, I, it doesn't have to cover all the bases, but what bases it covers, it covers them yes. really well. I strong, think. strong, strong, strong eight. I think Jules is a low on a seven, but yeah. Seven. Uh, I'm not one to judge on aroma, as you guys know. Okay, moving on to flavor. I felt it was a little clustered. I ended up at a 17. 17. Cheers. Mm, you gave it a 15. Mm, wow. Yeah. That seems low to me. I mean, there's so much fruit and spice. There's too much spice. There's too I much think, spice. But there's Especially grain. Especially at the finish. But you got to think about like the distinct fruits. I can pick out distinct fruits. I can pick out the grain. I can pick out the spice. There's maybe a touch of the oak. I think just from the breadth, it seems like it should be way higher than a 15 to me. So I started at 17 hmm. um, and then went down to 16 and then ultimately ended up in 15. The reason for this, <laughs> like, kind of, uh, uh, so, you know, from the initial tasting to kind of the retasting and analyzing again, the store, score kept going down. And the reason for that is mm. it is chaotic. I mean, yeah, but that's the, not the, the problem. Is flavor. I can't balance. taste the that's flavor balance. in a given time frame. Like, no, because no, they're cause all the, there. Because the they were when, there. when when that grain hit, you know, comes in. This is like the it reverse buries, of Five. It buries a lot of the, <laughs> the fruits. It buries a lot of the fruits. Um, the I'm, I'm trying man. to dig out the the, the, the sweetness. Super the man. sweetness. It's there. That dude. try no. it again. Yeah, yeah I'll taste it. I think the fruit is so prominent. Yeah. And it's just the spice kind of makes it a little difficult sometimes because it weaves in and out. But the flavors there, are there. there. You're yeah. talking about balance. I think you're. Yeah. Mm. I think you're off on flavor for sure. That's way too low. I, I'll go back up at 16. All right, fair that's enough. Fine. I think that's that's, <laughs> that's fair. fair. Okay, let's move on to body. Uh, I I kind of I went back and forth. I ended yeah. up at an eight. I wavered on this one. I was almost going to go to a six. Oh wow. Um, just because like the viscosity was left wanting, like I wasn't getting a lot of like this. It, it coated my palate well at the end of the day. I decided. I was gonna say, well, that, that's the thing. I felt like I got more of the coating on like the last third, mm. you know, and the finish. What did you end so, up at? But I ended up at a seven. Yeah, I gave it a seven. I, I can see the seven. I mean, you it, know, it's. I thought it's it was okay. good. It's, good. Yeah. it's not. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it. The the spiciness of it kind of affected the mouthfeel mouth for me. Yeah. And if I kind of tried to pull the spiciness out of it, I was like, you know what? It's it's pretty it's still good. There. It lingers. And that's why I, that's why I ended up going up to an eight that makes as opposed sense. to the yeah, seven. I, I think so. Okay, moving on to complexity seven. 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 Yeah. Sevens. It's it's fruit and spice yeah. and it's such a grain. That's what's going on here. And they're 
It's it's almost you know the it's almost like, like you know the you said earlier numbers. the I was gonna, well you said earlier though like the the spiciness like in, it gets interwoven sometimes and sometimes I think it gets lost too I think that's why but I was then sometimes I feel like it makes it really pop, pop. yeah you know? exactly <laughs> it's like no it's, yeah that's why like you you described it well with the interweaving yeah thing, so. it, sometimes it really works and then there's other, other sec- times it just like, fades yeah so this is what happened yeah the all nothing <laughs> wow interesting. I mean I just kind of these things let down yeah, yeah. I'm just. Paint by numbers. It kind of feels like yeah, somebody you know, was like trying the, the to. The problem is, engineer. We have so many options that Especially I Especially with this I, price. Yeah, I'm trying to think like, with this price, with this kind of presentation, am I really going to go back and drink this? Yeah. Well, yeah, and then, uh, you know, I factor in like, okay, other things that are around this proof point, you think like Old Forester 1910, 1920. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you think about the balance and the complexity of those compared to this. Like, why. I mean, I can get four roses barrel picks. I can get four roses right. uh, small batch. Yeah. So select. things that are kind of in the same category, yeah. price and availability yeah. wise. I feel like the blending of those, it, it's it's well, not as chaotic. Picks, for the me. barrels are not blended. Well, the, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, no, small batch select. Small batch select. Of the 1920, 1910. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, or even Statesman, which I would do the next. I just really feel like Let there's down. a there's there's a. I mean, I, this is complexity, right? Yeah. But the, yeah. Pro- but the problem is because of that chaos, it buries a lot of these other things that could have come out, I guess. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's the, that's that's the issue. Moving on to balance. You know, I talked about how that spice came in and out. <laughs> yeah. I went from a 7 to a 9 back to a 7. <laughs> and I ended up at a 7. Wow. Yeah, I gave it a 7 as well. I gave it a 6. There were moments when I tasted I see that. There, there were moments, though, I tasted it. And I was like, wow, that, that's so well balanced. And yeah. then the next taste fades. Where'd that go? Yeah, where'd it you go? Know, here's just spice. And then, oh, here's just grain. But then the next sip, oh, they all kind of came together at the right time. And it, when it all comes together at the right time, yeah, it's, it's really good. Yeah. It might be a nine. But because of that in chaos, yeah. it, it, you, I can't give it that high. I know. That's why it's a six. No, there's moments of this that are definitely really better. Yeah, that's why it's really better shines. than a five. No, it's better than a six. No, it, it's better than a six. It's it, this is a seven, eight, or nine. There, there's no way this is. You're a six. you're not gonna pull this out as an example of a great balanced bourbon. There's no way you're gonna bring this, this out and say seven. this is well, a balanced a seven. bourbon. It's a seven. It's way better than average, but it's not the best. Go get the Remus five. Yeah, Go it's get about the Remus like that. Five. It's a that little bit better balanced than balance. the Remus five. No, <laughs> I, I literally have that bottle right there. right here. Yeah. <laughs> So, are we really going to do that? Okay. Maybe that should be our how about, taste this? how about this? How about this? Get any, any Four Roses single select. It's so different, dude. It's so different. Different experiences, man. Anyway, let's Small move on. Again, sorry. Uh, let's move on to, to finish. finish. Uh, too short for me, seven. Seven. I gave it a six. I started I at a seven. That I went down to a yeah, six. Yeah, I could see that but, too. You know, the problem is it fades really But fast. what remained for me was the sweet. And it was like the the bright it sweetness, nice. and I did like that. Yeah. Man, the bitterness came in and out. But this is what this is the reason that I liked it was if, if I took this as the whole finish and the sweet components here, it went like this, yeah. and it just went to that the sweet component, stay. and that yeah. lingered until my next sip, and it made the next sip better. So I did give it bonus for that. I really think that that, that what yeah, remained was good, but it did it did drop off too fast. Mm-hmm. I didn't get the bitter or the tannic at all. I think it's short. I think there's a bitterness there. It yeah, comes in and out sometimes. It just kind of ruins the ruins the finish. All right, guys. Uniqueness eight. Mm. I give it a seven. I give it a six. I'm just thinking high proof blend, blend of different states. I mean, you got Tennessee, Kentucky. Indiana, and Kentucky bourbon in here. I, yeah, I don't know many others. That I think of that like I think I'm, I, I come back to High West. Right, uncut, unfiltered, which I th- I personally think is better, better and cheaper than this. <laughs> but that's one source, okay. yeah. one mash bill. This is multiple mash bills, multiple sources. I want you to, I want you. I to, give it points for uniqueness. So I, I get, yeah, I get like, that you see this. If this was gone, right. right? If this is gone, think about all of okay. the flavor, of, flavor uniqueness. I would agree with no, you. If I was of, just judging it on flavor, I would probably score it like all, you do. All of the places where they source their source. bourbon, source their bourbon, right? <laughs> Think about it. Name name the ones that source their bourbon. I named one. I na- I give you the exact example I'm talking about. Think about think about um, uh, you what, know Widow Jane. Yeah, all those. Yeah, all it's those all companies. MGP. Everybody sources from MGP. Right, they did too. Victors. 
Yeah, but what's your point? There? Yeah, mixer sources from Kentucky. No, but they sourced from Kentucky, from Indiana. And this and is from not Tennessee. unique. That is unique. What's another blend that sources from all of those states and blends it together in something that's actually pretty drinkable? Barrel. Sometimes, usually they're one, maybe two states. Uh, maybe they that? do three. Was it? Um, I'm not saying it? it's perfect. I just think it, it's a step above what you're what you're rating it. What's the what's the? Uh, I would think Nevada, it's at least what, what, a seven. What's the Nevada one? He gave it a six. So, oh, he what's the Nevada seven. one? The one I mentioned, smoke wagon? Smoke, smoke, smoke wagon. That's all MGP. Yeah, but they're blending. I literally just gave this example. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have to blend it like this. No, that's what makes it unique is that they also have Kentucky and Tennessee in there. Yeah, but it is unique. It deserves one I think more Dylan's point for that. Complaint is because of the chaos. That I agree. That. Okay, if I was judging, of, he just put it. You know, someone let just me, put it in there. Let me explain this. There's is like it, no craftsmanship to it whatsoever. I don't think it's that. I think it's a little better than that. But yeah. I, I, he's if you're judging it just on the uniqueness of the flavors, six is fine. Well, let me no, explain. Okay, also, but based on the presentation of what they did with these different sources and different ages, I give it a little look, extra for that. I have. I have I have a bunker of uh, spirits, and then I have a. I know. I have a small. I have a small, uh, very conservative little little uh, shelf for uh, for my dining room. Okay, the only only ones that kind of make it to that tier, the dining room tier, you mm. have to be unique enough that it gets a place on that shelf. This will never be there, and you know what? You will never drink this. Because you have so many other options that are more unique. All right, I went down a point. Just you, you will not. You Let's will not drink this. I'm I went you. down because I tasted it again, though, and I, all I got this taste was sour. Just oh. <laughs> balance. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's move on to drinkability. Yeah, um, I kept going back into this. I gave it a seven. It's not great, but I could sip on it. It could be a background bourbon pretty easily. <laughs> You hear that? It's what did you give it? What did you like, give it? I gave it a six. What did you give it? <laughs> I gave it a seven. Okay, so we're really pretty close. Yeah. Dylan just. <laughs> like, I, like just I like he's this actually trying point. it now, and you're like, oh yeah, Dylan's right. In, in his <laughs> on mind, one category. Here's why. Here's why. I I give like, it, I'll, uh, it's basically adding a point to yours in that you know I can what? Sip on this. It shined at some portions of it of the drink, and it's like when it does, like oh, I want to keep back. The, the chaos made me want to go back. Right. Yeah. I want to go back to it. So it's that one point. Dylan can't see the categories for what they are. It's okay. <laughs> so, you know, is there a reason? I mean, like, would you pick this over Blue Run? Yeah. Oh, I don't know about mm. that. I think I would. Okay, okay guys, moving on to aesthetics. Uh, it's really nothing special. I give it a three. It's not <laughs> three. bad. It's not great. Middle of the road. I give it a four. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. I give it a four. It's okay. Uh, next category, value. At 130 to 160 to plus one. Mm. Mm. I give it a three. Hmm. So what? How is this a value for you? What yeah. is it? What, what, what did you give? What did you give? I give it a two. Okay. Well, I did it mostly for because I was thinking about the light up, and it's like, well, if I'm gonna do this whole discovery series anyway, and at that price point, it's like, ah, eh, I kind of get it. You know, you're trying to see like with all the different blends, like of the three. How's that value? Yeah, are you sure you didn't I give know, that three but... so that you can get it to seventy two? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I feel like well, you trying to find some value. What I'm, what yeah, I'm thinking I about, what I'm thinking about more is like I think about honestly, like I think about other blends. Right. Yeah. High proof blends. Like so, I take like again. I, I keep going back to smoke wagon, uncut, unfiltered. Right. Because some of those blends are around the one ten to one thirty, yeah, yeah. like one twenty ish. Right. right. That's what I mean. It's no, like there's seventy bucks. Oh, less than oh, that. I got it for oh, less. Than sometimes that. less. Sometimes. And, I, I, and as far as this batch is concerned, I think they're easily on par, if not better. Some of them might be a little better. Some of them might be a little worse. But I uh, yeah. But I mean, it's part of like you know, you're getting like a seventeen year. You know it's what not I did? absurd. I mean, it's not, it's not yeah, absurd. It's not, I, I understand that. No, so you know what pricing. I did? Okay, look. This is what I did. Um, with this what price, did you do? Yeah, look, <laughs> look, look, the the amount of money that you spent on this, mm -hmm. I didn't buy this. What I did was I bought Doc Swinson, okay, and I also bought you Sam Houston. It. Which Doc Swinson? And batch nine and ten. Okay. That's more expensive. No, it's not. It's one hundred fifty bucks. Okay. Yeah, I, and, and Sam Houston, Sam Houston, Sam Houston you can get it for 120 130 bucks. Okay, so a little bit more expensive, but I agree with you, those are both better. <laughs> yeah. I gave it a one for value. You should go down to one then. Yeah. <laughs> you just proved my point. You did. And just for that, I'll drop <laughs> a point. 
I don't think this is a value. Dylan I'm sorry. is still I don't. I don't hate this stuff. I don't think it's horrible. I think you're gonna get it for the collection. Yeah, I, I mean, like the reason I gave it the extra point was silver metal. The reason I gave it an extra point was because. There is an academic yeah, component there is a to it. To it. That, when you get it in the in series, that, it's right? interesting I mean, to see what they do with the, with the right, blend. Right. I agree. But, and, and it's, you know, they call it a discovery series because yeah. they are yeah. trying to You're do that experiment. And so there's a value yeah. there. I agree. Right? The, and then the other one is exactly Okay, what, so for the bourbon nerd, it's a two. For everybody else, it's a one. Right. What's right. right. yeah. the difference? Yeah. You guys yeah. give it a two. Or, or a zero because I would say spend the 150 bucks and get like. Buy something else. Get well, the, spend twenty bucks more and get Doc Swinson, basically. Or get Sam Houston. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. 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 Okay, guys, let's get our final tally here. I ended up at a seventy-three. Seventy-one. Sixty. May not be enough. Sixty-eight. Which gives us our official Curiosity Public score for Bard Sound Discovery <laughs> Batch Six. Did you get there? Just barely a silver seventy. Oh. But it gets that silver wow, award. It gets that high ho silver. I think that's yeah, that's fair. This deserves to be a silver, I think. Yeah. A low silver. This batch. This is I, I I'm okay with this. That $150 is a lot. Of it money. is. I mean it's basically two days of wages, right? <laughs> and you're spending that much money buying that. Two what days. kind of wages? Seriously, what are you doing? A week. Because the stuff we film over in that other room, you can wait way more for that. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Count me out. Hey. All right, guys. Count so, uh, if you're again, if you're a member, we're gonna compare this to batch four just right now. But uh, if you're not a member, Jules is gonna say goodbye to you right now. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let us know how you feel either way. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. If you want to help our channel out, please consider joining Curiosity Private membership program here on YouTube or joining our Patreon or buying t-shirts at our t-shirt shop. We got links in the description down below. Check out our podcast on major podcast platforms out there. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious. hear about this this is like a perfect example of a whiskey whiskey community losing their losing their freaking mind didn't people like, go crazy over this uh, yeah no they're not losing, match six uh, i thought they were going crazy three over and match four six. were the ones people went crazy they're for. losing money they're, they're losing their mind. well we got four I, here and people say four is supposed to be really good best, I, I don't know what kind of disposable income people have that they're, they're gonna just go, you know what? I'm just gonna. I don't think it. it's bad. I think it's it, no, it's not bad. You know, if if I, I spent 120 on this, I, I wouldn't feel bad. I'd feel like, okay, you know, no. it didn't blow me away. I'll drink it, it's fine. I'll drink it while I'm watching a movie or watching the game, the, the throw ball game on the I, two, telly. Two, two, telly vision. <laughs> if you if you have one, two, three, four, five, you have to buy this. Six. That's my point right. in terms of the value. And, and this is what's like, happening. You're gonna right? complete it. I feel like a good batch could be an 80, a batch like this could be a 70, 60. Some of them could be lower. Yeah. yeah. And it's one of those where it's like, you might just buy it. It becomes like Elijah Craig barrel proof, right? Yeah. You're going to buy every batch to just see how just it is. It. Yeah. And at the worst, you're going to be like, yeah, it's not the best. At the best, you're going to be like, wow, I got to go get a backup. But it's twice the price. <laughs> it's, a lot of, it's a lot of money to, it is, to play man. around. The price is the killer for me. Yeah. I think if this was $75, I don't think, you know. You bad and I. Yeah.